Joanna, welcome. Thank you, and thank you, Margaret, for, for inviting me. Um, and thank you for the good work you've done. Your article that you wrote on the um, Fleming Farm was a major moment in protecting again. So wanted to thank you already for, for the work you've already done to help us that can't leave 1889 and you have done. Um, it's, it's, I don't want to go into a lot of detail. I think almost everybody that is here has played a role in looking after the Ginn property. And for that, I want to thank everybody. And in many ways, I think ours is a is a happy situation, uh, thanks to the Ginns who gave the park and had the forethought to give it under the federal eco-gift program, which meant that the federal government has to approve any changes that are made to the land. So although Cantley owns the land, really, and manages it, they're under fairly strict rules about what they can do, and that was very effective. We found two years ago when the owner of Domain Kanawi was running mountain bike trails uh, through the eco park, running road cars, trucks across it, and um, and and to cutting down trees. Since those last two years, thanks to a lot of you in the room, we've managed to uh, protect the land. We've managed to push the mountain bike park back into the mountain bike park. Um, it's still under threat. A, the owner of Domingawi has brought a lawsuit against Cantley demanding a right of way through the middle of the eco park that comes up in February. We've been offering the uh, municipality advice about how to fight that. We've been working very hard to get public support for the park, but I think until that, until that lawsuit goes through, we don't really know uh, how safe the Ginn Park will be. The good news is that the park is about to open, uh, thanks to a lot of people um, in the room, particularly Emily and, and David. We've managed to clear uh, almost three kilometers of trails going through the park. Um, following the report done by Carl Savignac, so the trails go in places that they will not cause any damage to the um, more sensitive ecosystems. The parks are, are mapped. They've been, um, we have a map made up. We've laid them out. At the moment, they're simply done with flagging tape because we haven't had time to do proper markings. And we expect the, an announcement to come out in the next day or two. Um, for when the park will be open to the public. I wanted to um, take a moment to thank Jean Bosco. We're, we're quick to criticize our council when they, um, when they let us down, but uh, Councillor Bosco has been our very firm supporter right from the beginning, and he's been wonderful. Um, so I just wanted to give a little bit of credit to him for that. So I look forward to sending out an announcement to Cantley 1899 to be shared to announce that the park is, is open and people are welcome to walk on the trails. The other thing I wanted to mention is that we realized um, two years ago how badly we needed uh, some way of communicating with other environmentally concerned people in Cantley. And we started a group called Nature Cantley. At the moment, it's a Facebook group only um, with about 100 people. I think it's not enormous, but it's, it's, it's active. And um, we have also been working on a website to provide some sort of linkage between the various different groups so that we can share information um, between each other. And, and so other people in Cantley can find out about us. Um, we wanted to make it more public what all of us are doing um, to bring in more people and, and honestly more, more Francophones. I, I, I find it, um, my French is very bad, so I'm not a good person to speak, but um, we really wanted to try to encourage more involvement. So we're working on a group called Nature Cantley, or not a group, it's a network to um, link up various groups on issues of concern, um, like the ones we're discussing tonight. I think that's everything uh, I had to say. There's a lot more that could be said. It's been a busy two years, but um, welcome questions if anyone has them. Any questions? Thank you, Joanna. And thank you for all your hard work and dedication and oh, your team and all the people that helped. I'm just you. one one person in a in a really amazing committee. So yeah. Oh, um Eva raised her. Eva, do you have yeah. Uh, sorry, um, Joanna, I, that I'm not all up to date on it, but I've heard uh, recently a lot more about the Guinness property and obviously in connection with what we've just experienced as well. 
um, how their wishes basically have have not been respected. But from what you've just said, um, that sounds very much like you you've managed to protect um, what you've tried to do. Is is that right, or is the, are there still and, issues yeah, that need? There is a court case coming up in February, and if the municipality doesn't fight it effectively, there will be a road go through the middle of the eco park, and we will lose dramatically. Um, but uh, that that is out of our hands. I think we've done all we can to um, to 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 deal with that. And the park is lovely. And I'm actually really would like to encourage people to come and walk on the trails, and invite their neighbors. I think what will protect the park more than anything is a strong citizen support. So spreading the word. That's why we rushed this summer to get the trails open. And in some ways, maybe we should have waited a bit longer. Some of them were a little bit rough, but um, we wanted to get people out so that they could see how beautiful it is there. Yeah. yeah thank so, you. So, yeah. Very could, could, could I just ask, is there any parking available? There is. Um, actually, thanks to Jean Bosco, our counselor, they built a parking lot in the middle of the summer. And oh. it's blocked off right now because the park's not open, but we hope to get that um you know, to get it, 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 it's, it's, well, it's easy enough to move the cones. We just go move the traffic cones every time we need to work on the trails. And I'm hoping those traffic cones that are blocking the parking lot will get um, permanently removed and it'll be wide open. What we're waiting on right now is signage. We felt it very important that there be adequate signs indicating what people can and can't do in the park. And until we, uh, the um, communications person, Crystal Walsh at the municipality has been just amazing. She actually came and walked the trails with us and she's helping to design the signs. So that's that's what we're waiting for to open it. Sorry, long answer. That wasn't what you were asking, but uh, that's sort of the story. All good information. Thank you. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Joanna.